Exodus chapter 15. Then Moshe and the people of Israel sang this song to Adonai. I will sing to Adonai, for he is highly exalted. The horse and its rider he threw in the sea. Yah is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, I will glorify him. My Father's God, I will exalt him. Adonai is a warrior. Adonai is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army he hurled into the sea. His elite commanders were drowned in the Sea of Suf. The deep waters covered them. They sank to the depths like a stone. Your right hand, Adonai, is sublimely powerful. Your right hand, Adonai, shatters the foe. By your great majesty you bring down your enemies. You send out your wrath to consume them like stubble. With a blast from your nostrils the waters piled up. Piled up. The waters stood up like a wall. The depths of the sea became firm ground. The enemy said, I will pursue and overtake, divide the spoil and gorge myself on them. I will draw my sword, my hand will destroy them. You blew with your wind, the sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty waters. Who is like you, Adonai, among the mighty? Who is like you, sublime in holiness, awesome in praises, working wonders? You reached out with your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your love you led the people you redeemed. In your strength you guided them to your holy abode. The peoples have heard, and they tremble. Anguish takes hold of those living in Peleshet. Then the chiefs of Edom are dismayed. Trepidation seizes the heads of Moab. All those living in Canaan are melted away. Terror and dread fall on them. By the might of your arm they are still as stone, until your people pass over, Adonai, till the people you purchased passed over. You will bring them in and plant them on the mountain which is your heritage, the place, Adonai, that you made your abode, the sanctuary, Adonai, which your hands established. Adonai will reign forever and ever. For the horses of Pharaoh went with his chariots and with his cavalry into the sea. But Adonai brought the sea waters back upon them, while the people of Israel walked on dry land in the midst of the sea. Also Miriam, the prophet, sister of Aharon, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with tambourines dancing as Miriam sang to them, Sing to Adonai, for he is highly exalted. The horse and its rider he threw in the sea. Moshe led Israel onward from the Sea of Suf. They went out into the Shur desert, but after traveling three days in the desert, they found no water. They arrived at Mara, but couldn't drink the water there because it was bitter. This is why they called it Mara, bitterness. The people grumbled against Moshe and asked, What are we to drink? Moshe cried to Adonai, and Adonai showed him a certain piece of wood, which, when he threw it into the water, made the water taste good. There Adonai made laws and rules of life for them, and there he tested them. He said, If you will listen intently to the voice of Adonai your God, do what he considers right. Pay attention to his mitzvot and observe his laws. I will not inflict you with any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, because I am Adonai your healer. They came to Elim, where there were twelve springs and seventy palm trees, and camped there by the water. End of Exodus chapter 15.